Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to do this animation of a walk cycle. We're gonna do it all by hand with just one reference image. Uh, so I went to Google and I Googled animation walk cycle and I found this image and I started up Blender. I'm gonna do go ahead and, and select 2D animation. Here's our file. I'm going to zoom out a bit. And the first thing I'd like to do is bring in that reference image. So go to object mode, add image reference. I have it on my desktop as I, as I uh, downloaded and I saved it on my desktop. And there it is, there's my reference image. So what I'd like to do is make it a little bit smaller and then move it out of the way because we're going to draw in this area. But I'd like to have it here so that I can reference it. And so with that in place, I'd like to now um, select my stroke and select the stroke options and look at my layers. For now, just to be organized, I like to double click on this and rename it to walk. Object. This is my walk object. And in this object is this stroke. And in the stroke is the layers. I'm gonna add a layer. I'm gonna call this layer sketch. I'm gonna put it underneath everything. There it is. And I'm gonna add another layer. I'm gonna call this layer guides. And I'm gonna put it underneath this sketch. In the guides, what I'd like to do is add a, uh, a floor and a height measurement. I'm gonna to go to the draw. I'm in the guides. And I'm just going to add a floor, just a line to simulate the floor. And then I'm going to add um, a line up at the top just so that we can see where the head is, the height of our character. And then I'm going to lock it. We're not going to use that layer. I'm going to hide these other layers and lock them here. So I'm only working in the sketch layer. We're gonna do all our animation in the sketch layer. Uh, and the way you work, the way I work is you sketch it out first and then you draw it. Uh, you do the lines and then the fills. So in the sketch layer, in the walk object, I'd like to go ahead and start uh, with this animation. Uh, and we can start anywhere with these positions. And let's go ahead and start with this one. I'm going to get a red stroke. Uh, for some reason, I, I just like drawing the sketches in red. I guess it's to, to differentiate from the ink um, color, which is black. So let's go ahead and start with this one here, which is the same, to be honest, the same as this. Uh, so this is what you call a walk cycle. When it gets to this position, he goes back and starts with this position. Um, so this is just one step, a process of one step, taking one step, and then obviously from, from the front, he goes all the way to the back, and then he starts again. So let's go ahead. Um, the first thing I notice is that he's not standing straight up. He's leaning a little bit forward. So I'm just gonna put a, a quick guideline and then I'm gonna start drawing this this first step. I'm gonna do the the uh, hip, which is about maybe half ways. The torso, the head, and then the leg. Remember, it's a sketch layer, so uh, you can draw sketch lines. And then this this is the. first leg 
and then this is the back leg the knee is right there And there's our first position. The next position, I'm gonna skip over four frames to frame five and start drawing the second position, which is this one. That's the second position. So let's go ahead and start drawing. I am going to turn on onion skinning. My sketch layer. So we can see the other drawing that we did. We're gonna put the hip more or less a little bit lower the torso a little bit lower and the head a little bit lower that's why we drew this guide and then he bends the knee and he plants the foot down he plants the foot down. Uh, this leg, he lifts this leg up, the foot. So it's in, it's in about the same position, but he lifts it up off the ground. Go forward about four frames to nine. And then we're going to draw this, the passing frame, the pass position. So he goes up, the head is about right here. The uh, hip, the torso. Again, remember this is a uh, just a sketch, so don't worry about how defined your, your lines are. And then the this leg came back and he's leaning on it he's putting all his weight on this leg and then this leg swings forward goes behind that other leg And that's the pass through position. So the, this, this leg is passing through this one, passing in front of this one. Uh, I'm going to go forward another four frames. And then we're going to work on this uh, position. So uh, the, the, the head goes up a little bit because he's lifting up with the leg right there. So we're gonna we're gonna lift up the the head a little bit, uh, and so does the hip, the torso. It goes up. Everything goes up, and then this leg moves back, and then he lifts the leg up a little. He's standing on his tippy toe. He's pushing himself up while he swings this other leg forward. I'd say about right there. And then he brings that leg across to there. Move over. Uh, four more frames uh, the last keyframe is kind of the same position as this I need the exact same position as it except the 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 legs are in the reverse order so now that we've drawn up to this frame the next one is the same as this first one on frame 17 and so what we're going to do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all the keyframes and select and copy. 
Command C and then paste them right in front and see what that, that looks like. Uh, the last one seems to be frame 29. I'm going to change it to 29 and then hit play. And so that's what it looks like. A very simple, it's got its, uh, it's got its tricks, but that's a walk cycle. Very, very simple. And um, after you've done this, you can actually draw your character any way, any character. This is just kind of like the bones or the mechanics of the walk. Um, but after that, you can just draw your character. This could be, you know, a giant or uh, even a uh, anything, a police officer, a football player, a, a business, whatever. Uh, these are the mechanics of the walk cycle. These are just the legs. Uh, we would have to draw the arms too, but I just wanted to get this out of the way so you can see the mechanics of the walk. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to use a video reference file in the background and which makes it a little easier to animate. You just follow and trace uh, whatever you see in the background. So keep an eye out for that one and uh, let me know in the comments uh, what you think of the video if you liked it. And so I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.